So today I'm going to try to explain to you guys how do I make my uh, Huon tablet uh, work with my Linux computer. So I have a Huon Canvas Pro um, 16 inches and I believe that this computer is running uh, Ubuntu 18.04. So uh, before we start, make sure that you uh, update and upgrade your computer just so you're able to find all the packages that we're going to need. Um, so as soon as you connect, um, as soon as you connect your computer to the, to the tablet, the tablet should start working as a, as an external display. So, um, uh, you're going to select like a Linux doesn't do that automatically, I guess. So like, you're going to have to select that that's going to be, um, your, like a unified view or extended view. Um, and so I got like a one laptop that didn't have like a, the touch screen features. So right now it just works as an external display. So uh, we need to go online. So I'm gonna go right here. And I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna put this instructions on, uh, on the description so it's easier for you. Uh, Digimand, uh, kernel, driver, releases. That's what I'm going to Google. So I'm going to click on this one, Digimand, kernel drivers. I want to see all the releases because like uh, if you, like uh, some of them are old. Uh, so I'm going to try this V10. So if you, if, 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 if you come here to the bottom, there's going to be a dev package that's an installer so we can try this one so i'm gonna say save so i'm gonna save this i bet that this computer is gonna save to my desktop but like uh I, i'm gonna download the dot tar dot gz those are the files that supposedly the the application already runs but just because that one has a readme file so if the first one doesn't work i'm gonna try the second one uh, so this was the first like a dot dev file that we downloaded. So supposedly if I just double click on this guy, see, he's going to say requires the installation of one additional package. You can install package. He's going to ask for my password. Let's see if it's gonna work. I didn't want to use any um, any software that I uh, or any computer that already had the, something installed, just so like you guys see exactly what I do, or if I run in like I haven't practiced. So like if I run into trouble, you're gonna see exactly what I have. So like uh, okay, so I'm gonna close. You it it said done, but see it's not working still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart. And see if rebooting is going to do the, the trick. If not, then I'm going to start playing with the .tar.gz package because uh, I've tried with both, but like uh, some computers, they already have some packages installed, some don't. So like, uh, I just want to make sure that you see exactly what I do. Uh, if I run into trouble, then you see me running into trouble. And most likely there's, let's see. So I'm going to start. All right, so still, see, he's not picking up the pen. All right, so I'm gonna go into this guy and extract it to here. All right, I'm gonna open my terminal. And at the same time, so like this is the, this is the folder that was created. Um, I wanna go to the readme file. So that's the readme file, this is my terminal.
All right. So I'm going to kind of follow the steps here. Uh, so he said, I, I need the headers. So I'm going to come here and type sudo app get install I, again. I already uh, updated and upgraded the computer. So if you didn't do that, please do. Headers. Value, new name, minus R. So supposedly I already had the, the headers there. So I'm gonna keep going down. I'm gonna have to install this DKMS. So let's go back, sudo app get install DKMS. And I already had DKMS installed. So right now I'm gonna try this one. So like a, it says like a, this is for like a Debian package. This is for like a, a Fedora base, like a distribution. So like ours, that's Ubuntu. So like it's a Debian uh, distribution. So I'm gonna go into and try and actually continue the steps. So that's the other one. Sudo make DKMS install. Oh, so for to to be able to run uh, this uh, this command, you have to be inside of the folder. Like your working directory should be the folder where the files are. So it was in my desktop. It was like a dgman, so like that's the folder. So I'm gonna run that command again. Oh, so supposedly the um, the application already tried to install it. I don't know why it didn't work, but like a, he he told me I have to uninstall the DKMS package. So sudo. Let's see, I'm just reading what make DKMS install. No rule make. DKMS. All right, so it's gonna uninstall something that the that the application installed, and then we're gonna try to install it again. All right, now let's try to. When we got the headers and uh, okay, so sudo uh, make dkms install. All right, so it's gonna do something there. Okay, so conf configuring secure boot. Okay, he's gonna ask for a password. You just create a, you, so you're gonna create a password. I'm just gonna create a password that I'm gonna remember. And then he's gonna ask for it again. All right. So, uh, let's see. I think I like a last time I typed this extra thing. So I, I typed like a, let's try not to go ahead and, and do this. Let's like a go from here. So right now I'm gonna reboot the computer. Oops. Let's see what's gonna happen now. All right, so he gave me this screen. 
it's a blue screen. And uh, the options is like a continue boot, in, enroll, MOK, and an enter key, key from, so I'm gonna enroll. And then there's a uh, view key and continue. I'm gonna go continue. And then enroll the keys, I'm gonna say yes. And then the password, I'm gonna type the exact password that I just put the password right. And then I'm gonna reboot. I hope you're able to follow. <laughs> I know the blue screen doesn't help. I want to show like 100% because if I get into trouble, at least you guys see me getting in trouble, you know. You have all the students here today, so it's pretty busy. Let's see. See? Then now it's actually tracking the pen. If you go into that step and it doesn't work, I would recommend like a going and uh, trying to install the, the application again. In some computers, that's what I, what I gotta do. So like uh, this is actually, so if I would open, let's say, um, sudo app, cache search, there was a one note. It was like it, it oof. I don't remember which one that was, but like a yeah, you guys could see that like a, now actually my my mouse is actually tracking there. See, so like a uh, on the next video I'm gonna show like a, there's a OneNote something that's really similar to OneNote that it's pretty much OneNote like but open source that we can use on, on the Linux computer that, that really works really well when like uh, using Zoom or any other, feature or any other uh, uh, web conferencing video. All right, thank you very much. I hope that was instructional and uh, you guys could actually do on your own computer. Thank you.